Hello everyone, this is PTW Animations and we are back with another video. Now around this time last year, I did a video of every figure in my wrestling figure collection, but I've collected a lot since then, so today we've got a video of all of the wrestling figures that I have collected in the past year since my last collection video. I've collected a lot more than usual because of the toy hunt content I've been doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this collection video. If you want more content like this, just like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into the figures. The first figure we have is, of course, the PTW Champion, CM Punk. Now, this is a basic figure. It's got the short hair, the black and red attire. It doesn't come with the belt, but I just have him holding it because he's the current champion in PTW. You guys have seen him in the Fed that I've been using him for a while. It's a good basic. Um, I mean, it's a basic, so it's obviously not amazing, but it's the updated attire with the short hair i had the long hair basic for a while so i wanted to get one with the short hair and i got it and i'm happy with this figure the next figure is one that you guys might have seen in one of my recent toy hunt videos the elite 84 buddy murphy i got this figure on a toy hunt so if you haven't seen it and you want more in-depth look at the figure you can go to that but it's in the black pants attire from the Disciple Buddy Murphy. I like this figure. It seems pretty good to pose around with. I haven't filmed with it much. But I am very excited to get to that point And maybe get him in PTW eventually. The next figure that we have is this basic Finn Balor. In the blue tights attire. Now this figure I got from another YouTuber. GSD. You guys probably know GSD. But I've gotten a lot of figures from him which is pretty cool. I got this Finn Balor. It's the basic one in the blue attire. Haven't really filmed with it yet because it's a basic, but you will probably see Finn Balor in PTW one day. Up next, we have another Finn Balor. This one in the demon attire. I'm not exactly sure when he had this attire on. I think it was sometime during NXT, but here he is in the demon attire with this elite another one that i've got from gsd and this demon attire pretty cool and i'll be excited to animate with this figure the next figure is yet another finn Balor. this one i got on a toy hunt it's the elite 82 the prince from his second run in nxt which i really liked um i hope he does good on the main roster in his feud with uh, Roman. But this figure, it is very fun to pose around with. I'm happy with it. It is a good elite, a really good head scan. Um, and I'm definitely gonna prefer using this over the basic with Finn without the demon. But this figure is gonna be a lot of fun to use and to animate with. The next figure is this elite AJ Styles, the screaming head scan in the black attire. You guys have seen this in PTW before. I've animated with it. It is a very fun figure to use. Of course, most AJ Styles figures are pretty good, and I really like animating with this one. And it's a pretty good figure, so on to the next one. And here we have got this basic Rey Mysterio. You guys have seen this one. I've used it on Resistance when he made his huge return to PTW on Resistance Episode 2. If you haven't seen that, then I highly recommend to go check it out. But it's a basic, so it's obviously not great. But for a basic, it's fine. I'm looking though to upgrade this one to an Elite pretty soon. But for now, animating and filming with the basic is fine. It's a decent figure. I'm happy to have... Rey Mysterio back in my collection once again. Now we get to the figure for my most recent toy hunt, the Elite 84 Roman Reigns. I'm very excited to have an updated Roman Reigns figure. It has multiple head scans, multiple interchangeable hands. It has the shirt, it has the shield vest. Just a very good all-around figure. And I am very excited to use this one. Haven't really been able to do much with it yet because I just got it in the last toy hunt video. But I am very excited to use him in PTW. Now we get to two of the figures that I'm probably most excited about in the collection. I wouldn't say they're my favorites. Maybe like these two figures I'm about to show. Top five in the collection. But they're both from the Elite Smackdown Battle Pack. 
first one is the Jeff Hardy back when he faced, well, spoiler alert, Triple H for the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown in 2001. Here he's got the pink hair. It comes with multiple shirts. He's got the black armbands. Very excited to use this Jeff Hardy figure. Both the figures in this battle pack are very fun to pose around with. I'm very happy with this Jeff Hardy figure. Now we get to the next figure in that battle pack, this Elite Triple H. And if you guys saw my last collection video a year ago, you know I am really not a fan of my current Triple H Elite. So I am very, very happy with this one. This figure, this Triple H, might be my new favorite in the collection. It might be. It, that might just be recency bias for me, but it is a very good figure. I haven't really filmed with it yet, but it is very fun to pose around with. I really like the head scan, the attire. I mean, this was, this was peak Triple H, you know, early 2000s. Not like Reign of Terror Triple H, but like late Attitude Era Triple H. That was like peak Triple H. So this basically embodies my favorite version of Triple H. And it is a very fun figure that I'm very excited to use. And next up, here's a guy. You already know he's coming to PTW if you've been keeping up with the product. Because there have been vignettes for this man, Andrade, on recent episodes of Breakdown. If you haven't seen that, I guess that's a spoiler. But if you've been watching, you know the vignettes. You know Andrade is coming to Breakdown. And this is a basic figure. I'm excited to use it. Another one from GSD. He's got like a lot of figures in this video that I've got from him. But this Andrade figure for a basic, it's pretty good. Obviously the new basics aren't as good because, you know, the foot joints are pretty bad. But it is fun to film with a bit. And I'm very excited to get to use this figure more. The next figure is this Kofi Kingston Elite. This Kofi Kingston, you guys have seen it. I've been using it on the PTW episodes in the Fed. And I really like this figure. The, um, the tan sort of goes with the gold Xavier Woods. Now I need to get an updated Big E so they all have somewhat similar attires. Because before they were all just random colors with the New Day. But this one has the blonde hair. And the figure moves really well. It's really easy to pose around with it's a fun figure fun fact when i first started watching wrestling in around 2011 like i had known about it before but when i started watching like the weekly shows kofi kingston was my first ever favorite wrestler so it's always fun to have figures of him and i'm happy with this elite up next we have another figure from around that PG era time period where I started watching wrestling and it is this basic Wade Barrett. Now I picked up this basic um, and it's a pretty good basic. I had an elite Wade Barrett before but I ended up getting rid of it and I wanted another one because I realized I miss having Wade Barrett. So I got him back. Wade Barrett, this one in the, the sort of dark green attire that he wore for a brief time back uh, I believe when he was feuding with Randy Orton back in 2011 I remember really liking that feud when I was younger but this Wade Barrett figure from before he had the beard this was when Wade Barrett everyone thought he was gonna be a huge star unfortunately never happened I would have liked to see him get a big push because it seemed like he was on the rise at the time but this is a good basic and I'm excited to get this guy back in PTW. Now we have a guy you've all already seen in PTW. It is Bobby the Brain Heenan. And I'm really excited with this figure. Unfortunately, I have to say, rest in peace to Bobby the Brain Heenan. Of course, I'm way too young to really know much about him. But it is really fun to have him in PTW. I want to try bringing in more, more legends, more guys from different eras and different time periods and so Bobby Heenan right now I am using him as a manager in PTW right now he's managing Randy Orton so he's a good figure to use for that it did come the figure did come with the weasel suit but I sort of I had to cut it up because I, I can't have my serious heel manager walking around in a weasel suit so I just cut it up use scissors for that so now it's sort of like a custom white jumpsuit kind of thing and this figure, it's good for the role I use him in, and I'm excited to have a Bobby Heenan figure. 
Now we have the first AEW figure that we're showing in this collection video. It is MJF, I believe from Series 2. This was the first AEW figure that I ever got. Um, it came with the scarf. MJF is really good character on Dynamite. I've been watching a lot of AEW recently. And MJF, I really like him a lot. He's a great talker, great on the mic. I'll be excited to get him in PTW maybe eventually. Right now, I really don't know how I'm going to use him. But he is a guy where I think if you give him a microphone, let him talk, he can do a lot of great things. And I'm happy with this figure, the first AEW figure in the collection. And up next, we have the second AEW figure in the collection. This Kenny Omega. Of course, this did come with the AEW ring that I have. So the figure came with that ring, the ringside exclusive authentic scale ring. The figure, obviously, this was before they fixed the skin tones and all that, so still a little bit light on the skin tone there, but it really doesn't bother me that much. Kenny Omega, of course, obviously, one of the greatest work rate guys in the world. Right now, I'm enjoying his run as AEW champion, but right now, though, I have no idea how I would ever use him in PTW, but of course, Kenny Omega's the guy. He's so good that... You're probably going to see him in PDW one day, just right now. Really don't have much ideas for him. But this figure, it's pretty good. The feet joints are a little bit loose for me. But I really like how the AEW Unrivaled figures have the double jointed elbows. And I like how you can pose around with the torso and all that. So I'd be excited to eventually film with some of these AEW figures. Now, back to the Mattel figures. Up next, we have this Drew McIntyre. Now, this one is a custom. I'm not completely sure of all the parts used. I actually got this one from GSD. He sent me this Drew McIntyre custom. It's got the head, it's got the body and the knee pads. It is a good custom. I really like it. And Drew McIntyre is a guy, um, right now, his whole history teacher gimmick, it's not one of my favorite things, but before that, Back when he had this awesome run as WWE Champion, he was great, pretty much carried the the pandemic era of Monday Night Raw. As much as anyone can carry the garbage that is three hours of Monday Night Raw. But Drew McIntyre is a really good figure, this is a really nice custom from GSD, and I'll be excited to get him in PTW one day. Now we have another custom figure, this one a custom Randy Orton. This one was sent to me again by GSD. It was sent to me sort of without the arms and without the feet. So I had to just fix up that with the basic Randy Orton that I had. But this Randy Orton is a really good custom. I'm happy with it. And Randy Orton, of course, a guy that you will see in PTW a lot. Randy Orton, this is a good custom figure. I would say I want to get an updated elite Randy Orton. That's not a custom, just the actual Elite, but this figure is good, and I like using it. Next, we have the General Manager of Brutality, The Rock. This Elite, of course, comes with the sunglasses and the t-shirt. It is a good Elite, obviously. Since I use him in the General Manager role, I haven't really filmed that much with him in terms of posing and movement, but in terms of how it feels, it really feels like a good figure. And really excited to have an updated rock figure in PTW. Now we have another figure from around the time I started watching wrestling in 2011. This is the Big Show in his camo attire. He wore this 2011, 2012, around that time. I'm just showing off a lot of stuff that I've been collecting from when I first started watching wrestling. It's weird to think I'm being nostalgic for 2011 or 2012, but I am. And this Big Show figure, it's a decent basic. You guys have seen the Big Show recently make his return to PTW in this figure. The reason he was out in canon is that he was injured by Rusev, but in reality, my other Big Show figure broke. So I had to put him on the shelf for a bit until I got this new one. And this new one, it's decent. I mean, it's a basic, so it's not going to be anything amazing, but it does the job well enough. And last but not least in this collection, we have this Elite Kane. This 
is the best version of Kane from when he first debuted. He was an absolute monster. I am very excited to have this Kane in a figure form. It's fun to pose around with. It's fun to use. This Kane figure, I love this attire. I love this figure. It is the last figure in this collection, but certainly not the least. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this updated collection video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe. You guys like and comment on the videos, the engagement will go up, and more people will get to see it. So you guys could do that, it will be very helpful. And I will see you all later.